this is one of my favorite little short stories out of Africa. It's told by a number of the tribes. And this has to do with the day that mankind was almost wiped from the face of the earth. And it began when the great creator God created all of the different species. He created plants and animals and put them on the land and set them all down and said, go out and find your place in the world. And they all did. <coughs> and soon the creator God began hearing complaints from all different places. And all the complaints seemed to center on one particular animal called man. And the complaints grew so loud that the creator God decided to hold a great council. So he came down and sat upon his seat and drew in representatives of all of the different animals. And they all gathered in a circle. And one by one, they voiced their complaints. And the impala and the buffalo stepped forward. They said that man is being unfair. He has these wonderful fields of, of greenery and wonderful edibles, but he fences them off and cannot get to them. And man said, well, I cannot run as fast or as far and, and range as you do, so I have to plant them and keep them here for myself. And other creatures step forth and says, man does not hunt properly, he cheats. He sets traps, and that is unfair. And man said, well, I do not have the strength of a lion or the stealth of the leopard. Uh, I have to do it this way. Well, this went on and on and on. And for every complaint, man, of course, had an answer. At last, the great creator God sat back on his throne and he thought for a moment. And he said, very well, here is my decision. If any two among you will step forward and speak in man's favor, I will let him live. If not, I shall wipe him from the face of the world. And so man strode out to the center of the circle and said, who among you will speak for me? And of course the dog immediately walked out of the circle and sat down by man's side. Said, I, I will speak in favor of man. I find that being in his camp, eating his scraps is much easier than hunting for myself and Sleeping under man's roof at night is much favorable than sleeping out in the open under a bush where I may suddenly find myself eaten. And he gave a rather meaningful look at the leopard who's known for dog meat was well known. And sleeping by man's fire at night is, and keeping warm that way is certainly better than sleeping out in the cold. And man said, very well, who else will speak for me? And there was silence. And now man looked around the circle and said, there must be another of you who will speak in my favor. Again, nothing. And after a long silence, the great father, creator God, stood up from his throne and says, I believe the decision has been made. And he held out his hand and just before man was to be wiped from the face of the earth, this tiny voice came from way at the back of the circle and said, I will speak for man. Yes, he has many annoying qualities. Yes, he often cheats and takes shortcuts and things. But in his own way, I have found him to be useful. Therefore, I will speak on his behalf. And thus it was that mankind was saved from oblivion. Well, I'm certain you want to know who that tiny voice was. Well, is it not obvious? That tiny voice was the mosquito. <laughs> now, as the storytellers of Africa say, there is a moral to this story, but you must figure it out for yourself. 